You've got to be kidding me. I'm not trying to make things worse, really. I'm not. There's just something Rex needs to know. Dad? He's back! Well, we can't all be to the manor born. Speaking of which... Sorry about that. Master Jerry, <sighs> what happened? He was getting on my nerves. Killing Mr. Vickers is one way to solve the problem of anyone finding out if he is the true Buchanan son and you are the fraud. But I doubt it will solve. And have finished speaking with hospital about young Cole. They're, they're on their way back here. I believe they intend to come into this very room this very moment. You, isn't it? Rex said he saw you. You did? Yeah. Remember Rex? Honey, are you okay? Who the hell is that guy? How? How? Daisy, told me you were dead. What can I say? Some of us are just hard to kill. It just would feel better if I could talk to John about Cole. Well, the hospital said that Cole and Scar are okay. I thought that's all they would tell me, because I wasn't a relative. I, I'm his legal guardian, for God's sake. You know where he is, and you know he's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But you're going to be a basket case until John calls, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's one of the many reasons I like you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Tell you what. What? Let's go in the living room. I'll make you a drink, all right? He appears to be breathing, which means he could come to it any moment. Yes, and blow our secret, which he was about to do before you told Nora about John calling. Oh, dear Lord, what are we to do? Just... Head off, Clint Nora, and I will find a way to take care of things. Wait, Edison, come in. Your mother told me you were dead. It's him? It really is? My mother lied to you. And she lied to me, too. When I got home, she told me you'd married somebody else. I'm sorry, Gigi. Sorry. What? What? What do you? What do you have to be sorry for? For believing my mother and not believing in you. We've missed so much time. What happened? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. <laughs>